China. KWWL's Justin Andrews is following this investigation from Iowa City for us tonight. He joins us live. What do we know about Lee? Well, Ron, we know that 23-year-old Zhiyangnan Lee is a person of interest, an international student at the University of Iowa majoring in business and lives in the apartment complex where Xiao's car and body were found. But tonight, police tell us they strongly believe Lee has returned back to China. Investigators are looking for this man, 23-year-old Zhiyangnan Lee, a University of Iowa Chinese international student. He is a person of interest after Iowa City Police confirmed Monday the 20-year-old Tong Xiao's body discovered Friday inside the trunk of her own car. She'd been missing for so long, you know, we understood that there probably wasn't going to be a positive outcome at this point. That's what Lieutenant Brotherton told us on the scene Friday, and the outcome was not a good one. Iowa City Police strongly believe Lee has now returned back to China. But we did a little digging and found out that Lee is a business major at UI. But according to his Facebook profile, he still lives in Rochester, New York, and plans to graduate in 2015. However, police tell us he lived right in Iowa City in the apartment complex where Xiao's car and body were found and is considered an associate of hers. Investigators are treating this death as suspicious, but police won't release the cause or manner of her death pending the autopsy results. Now here's a timeline. Child was last seen September 6th in Ames. Two days later, her friends got a text message saying she was in Iowa City. On Friday, September 26th, Iowa City police found Child's 1997 Toyota Camry parked at an apartment complex with her body in the trunk. Police say her body was there for several days. The car was stinking, but we didn't know if it was the car because we thought it was the garbage up in the area. Now, Ron, at this point, police are only calling Lee a person of interest, possibly having information regarding the circumstances surrounding Xiao's death. We've got you covered live in Iowa City. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. Now we hear that person of 